Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101. In this video, I'm going to be covering some more advanced options for setting up your Beehive publication, specifically analytics features, adding tags like Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, and Facebook's Pixel, among others, as well as advanced email capture and a couple other neat features that can help enhance the performance and functionality of your publication. Jumping in, we're gonna to navigate to settings, then to website, and then first to the analytics tab. If you have tracking tools like Google Analytics, if you're still using the classic GA3 or GA4, uh, Google Tag Manager, TikTok for ads, Twitter for ads or Facebook for ads, you can add each of their tracking pixels in the appropriate fields on this screen under analytics. If you have a tracking tag or a, another tool that you're using that deploys a script, we recommend using Google Tag Manager and deploying the script there. There's some advanced growth tutorials that we have that talk about using Google Tag Manager in a different playlist, but if you know what you're doing, this is where you can add those tags. Under the advanced tab, there's a couple more features here. Once you have a few posts published, you can choose to feature up to three selected posts. These have a prime placement above the fold. They're the first posts that anyone's gonna see when they come to your site. And once those are published, they can be selected from this dropdown. Next is advanced email capture. There's two options here. We have email gating and email pop-ups. If you gate your content, what will happen is when a user goes to a post, if they are not signed in, they'll be required to sign in order to continue reading. You can customize the headline here, add a custom message around why the content's gated, and then customize your call to action for the gated content. Alternatively, if you would like to collect subscribers, but you don't want to necessarily prevent users from being able to view your content off the bat, you can employ a pop-up. By default, our pop-ups show every seven days to individual users. It's not going to bother them every time they come to your site. When they scroll 50% down your post, it's going to have a small pop-up that by default says, enjoying this post, subscribe to get more content like this delivered to your inbox for free, subscribe. Each of these areas are editable so that you can customize those. For example, this is a Beehive publication, if I go and click on any of these, they're using email gating, and I'm gonna have to subscribe to continue reading more. Alternatively, if I go to this publication and I go to one of these posts and I get 50% down the page, I'm gonna get a pop-up. You can see how this pop-up's being customized right here. These are both examples of how you can use that feature to gain more subscribers. Lastly, for our advanced SEO users, you have the option of no indexing your Beehive site. This means that it's going to tell Google and other search engines to not list your site in Google results. Uh, this is useful if you're using the API or RSS feed to host your web content on a outside website and you don't want the content showing up in multiple places, that will basically prevent that from happening. Lastly, there's a written by widget that shows up on the home page. You can see there's no written by widget here if it's turned on that shows anybody who's contributed to the posts. If you want to show the writers of your newsletter, you can do that by configuring the enable written by widget down here. And that covers those advanced features. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to see what you build.